Hello. The objective of this demo is to showcase how to signal a process from a different process. Let's start by creating the, the process that will broadcast the signal. Let's do that by creating a project which name is going to be broad, Broadcaster. In this project, we are going to create a business process, the broadcaster business process. It's going to be a simple process like in the last video. It's going to be just a process that will end with a signal and it, it's going to have a script task just to let us know that the broadcaster has, has been executed and completed. We are going to change this end process to be a signal and we are going to do something um, different here. We are going to uh, signal the signal name that we are going to use is child signal. But for now, the scope is going to be external. That's that's the difference from, from the previous video. So by saving this, I can actually try to execute this process uh, by uh, deploying the, this version of the process. And if I start, if I try to execute this process definition, I can see that I get an error saying that could not find the work item handler for external send task. That's what um, this external signal reference is looking for. That means that in my broadcaster project, I need to define under the custom work item handlers, I need to define deployments, work item handlers. Here, I need to define the way that the external uh, signal works, how the external signal works. For example, we can have an out-of-the-box implementation of that. We we have a couple out-of-the-box implementation on how that can work. One of the um, common ones is this send task handler that the only thing that it does, as you can see in the implementation, is that it logs about sending a given message. Okay, so let's let's just try this. Let's just register this as the as the custom work item handler that will execute that. So let me get the name again. This is the name that is looking for external send task. So I'm gonna copy this one. I'm going to navigate again to the work item handlers. This is the name is looking for and in the value I will just use reflection to mention the fully qualified class name of this out of the box um, implementation of that work item handler. So that's the package name dot and the name of the class is this send task handler. So by doing this, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna redeploy.
If I redeploy and I go to the process definitions again and I start this process definition, I can see that the error is no longer there. I can see that the process has been completed. And also, if I look at the server logs, I can see this hello broadcaster right here. Okay, so it was it was successfully executed and by the implementation I see that a log was trying to be generated using a debug message. But my logger is not enabling the debug filter. So that's why I am not able to see that debug message here. If I I just see one info the standard out. If if I enable the book, I will be able to see this message going on. We will not do that. Uh, what we will do is we will implement a different work item handler that will help our uh, process, our broadcaster, to actually reach another project. So let's define the project that we will try to reach. So we are going to define a project as receiver. This receiver is going to have a receiver process in it. Very simple. It's going to be also a script task. That's it. And of course, in order to start this process instance, we will be expecting to have a signal to start this process instance. Okay, so that's that's the deal. Uh, and in the signal name, we are going to match the signal that we are broadcasting, which is child signal. Okay, okay. so there it is. We have a project that will wait for receiving a signal in order to start a process instance. Let's deploy this. So in order to signal um, this receiver and test how it's going to work, uh, we are going to navigate to localhost 8080 Kai server docs. And here in the Kai server docs, we are going to search for this um, signal, for this signal endpoint, which is the one that uh, you can see that you can signal something in a given process ID, instance ID, in a given container ID. But the one that we are gonna use is the one that uses a container ID and a signal name uh, to signal some, something in the server. So we are gonna double check that this has been deployed yeah, the receiver is here, receiving receiver 100 snapshot. So the name, if we try out this post um, endpoint, just click the tryout and we use the receiver 100 snapshot. That's the name of this um, deployment configuration, this deployment unit. So, and child signal, that's, that's the signal that we want to reach. If we just execute this, we are required to authenticate WB admin, the same user that we used to, well, a user that has Kai server permissions, right? WB admin out of the box user has the given permissions to execute this. And as you can see, this, this receives a 200 response and if we go to the server logs we can see hello from receiver so yeah guess what uh, we just signal that process instance if we go to the completed process instances we can see 
this receiver process instance that was executed and completed based on the signal that was sent through the REST API. So what we are gonna do is to implement a custom work item handler, something very similar to what this work item handler is doing, but in this execute work item method, we are gonna use a Java method, a, a Java implementation to consume this REST API and send a signal very similar of what this call has, um, has done here. Okay, so our broadcaster project will need to know a, way, a better way to react once when sending this signal here. The method that we will use to make that work is that under deployments, work item handlers, in this implementation, we are going to change the implementation to something that knows how to use the REST API to send the signal. That's one method. There are there can be different flavors and different methods to define how to send an external signal, but the idea right now is to make use of this REST API to send the external signal. So let's let's do that. In order to do that, we are gonna what we are gonna do is um, we are gonna create the class right here, the class that will that will um, execute that method. So I'm just gonna add an asset, a data object. The name of the data object that we will use is external simple REST signal. Just to create a Java class implementation here in the source, what we need to do is instead of implementing Java IO serializable, Instead of implementing that one, we can implement work item handler, right? This work item handler is part, part of the um, job uh, of the Kai API, and it comes in this given package, okay? So while when implementing this work item handler, we need to implement some methods. So in order to, um, in order to have more information about how to create custom work item handlers, I will suggest you to go through the JPPM documentation for that. And there is some um, also interesting blogs and videos about how to create custom work item handlers. Of course, the, the best thing to do is to use a Java IDE to create these work item handlers instead of using the, the business central endpoint. So I, I'm not gonna dive too much into this implementation. I already have an implementation ready to show to showcase how the external signal works. So that's that's one what I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna paste the implementation that I already have. Um, I'm just gonna fix this package name here. Comma space. Let me just change the repository view and check that the package is correct. Main Java com MySpace broadcaster. Oh yeah, broadcaster. Yeah, like that. Com MySpace broadcaster, and then it's gonna import these different packages that use HTTP authentication and the like, the logger. So in this implementation, what it's doing is reading some parameters. It is uh, reading some information, maybe from the constructor of the class or from the parameters. Finally, what it's doing is just creating some log info about when connecting to the HTTP client and executing um, the post method, and then just letting us know that the signal was sent. So um, go to the GitHub repository 
uh, that is in the description of the video to see the actual implementation of this close enough and to have a copy paste also um, resource to have in your um, in your project so I am gonna save this implementation here I can also validate yeah all the classes seems to be to be fine so now what I'm gonna do is that we need to change our implementation here in deployments for the external send task to say instead of using this out of the box say send task handler you're gonna use the the one that we just created which is com myspace broadcaster external simple rest signal that seems right you save this that's it we redeploy And when redeploying, we go to the process definitions again. We go to the broadcaster, start, a new process definition about it, submit. And we can now go to the server log and we can see that we have a hello from broadcaster. And look at this, we have the hello from receiver. We can see in the comma space broadcaster external signal logs we can see some of the logs that are implemented there which is letting us know um, that is about to send the external signal that is connecting to send the signal through this http endpoint uh, the signal is sent and is um, communicated also from the receiver we can also go to the different process instances that we have. We can see in the completed process instances, we can see that we have two new, we have a broadcaster and a receiver. The broadcaster was completed and the receiver was also completed. Let's see that the receiver was also completed. So that's the demo. We are sending a signal from a broadcaster project to a receiver project using external signals and custom work item handlers. I hope this information was helpful for you. Tune up for more videos. Bye.